Today we will be looking at the Crestliner 1650 Fishhawk. This is a great fishing rig for all salt water and fresh water. This is a 16 foot and a half aluminum deep V. Non riveted, all welded hell. This is our favorite Crestliner boat. We currently have a Shorelander bunk style trailer with a upgrade. Higher bunks makes it easier to trailer. We also have an upgrade with this swim platform and ladder. This is a sturdy metal aluminum welded platform with a ladder, two-step, this is Crestliner, we, on this boat we have a 90 horse direct injection Mercury Optimax, this is a um, two-stroke, this will make this go about 40 miles an hour. And we like this Galva, Galvi trailer because corrosion protection. Comes with really sturdy wheel frames. And there's no rivets. It's all welded. Construction. Now, as we get on the boat using the swim platform and the ladder, you will notice it has a very sturdy cockpit with a walkthrough windshield. You can also purchase this in a side console. This is the battery storage and then we have a 20 gallon aerated live well with a divider auto and manual pump we have our bilge pump there we also have this optional conversion bench which becomes a added fishing platform to two rear seats with cup holders and we also have two swiveling platform seats. You have four gauges showing your RPM, battery voltage, trim, fuel, and MPG H. You also have a Lawrence X4 fish finder. We don't have rocker switches on this model. You have a area to put in a uh, stereo. We also have a 12 volt um, car charging port, but it's for a boat. But any car chargers you can use. We also have this tilting feature on the steering wheel where it can tilt up and tilt down. There's a new steering on this model, so if you let go of the wheel, it will not begin the circle of death or it, will, it won't turn left or right. It will stay straight as an arrow. We get a big area for electronics here on the dash. We get two cup holders up front. One cup holder on the side here. holders on the back bench. Something nice about these cup holders is that they have drainage holes so if water gets in it'll drain right out. We have rod storage up to three rods here. 
You also have nice carbon fiber design and a really big um, glove box. Again, lots of storage on this Crestliner 1650 Fishhawk in this glove box. You get plenty of room for electronics too. Any extra gear you need like speakers or first aid kits and stuff like that. It's also lockable. Get a nice handle here. It's good to have when you're getting on plane. You also have this nice cover system on this boat. Which features J hooks right here. And it makes for easy covering of the boat. You also have snaps all around the windshield for your cover and your bimini top. On this windshield, there's two locks here and here. And this windshield folds all the way around and has a snap. So when you're on the water and you want some breeze, you can lock that in and get a nice airflow. Also comes with another fishing seat. This boat holds up to six hundred uh, six people and eight hundred pounds. But it the maximum is one thousand three hundred fifty. But that's including motor, gear, and person. We get a trolling motor. It comes with a motor guy. Um, 12 volt, um, and this is good for salt water and um, fresh water, but best for fresh water. Um, you also get a anchor area where you can store your anchor, a cup holder, and this is where you would put in your um, night navigational lights. It comes with those two. We also have. <gasps> lights here and a cup holder we also have a cup holder over here as well as our gas cap there's a lot of storage on this boat and that's where your stern light is including front laying lockable um rod locker which you can store up to eight rods There's also your storage area for your trolling motor battery. Plenty of room for rods. And this locks right here. You also have two large areas that do not lock but has a lot of storage. You can fit a large size tackle box and everything you need inside with extra room. Plenty of room for life jackets. You also have two cleats in the front. And two in the back. You have these nice bimini top quick releases to easily put on your bimini top. Although it's recommended to have two people so you don't scratch the sides. And this front seat here you cannot use when underway. This is where you would plug in your trolling motor. Plenty of room. Please leave any comments or questions about this boat and we're happy to welcome you to ask any questions or and we'll try to get back to them. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.